Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Talk. Now, if you want to know how to target on-the-go consumers who are physically near your business or even at your competitor's business, then stick around and listen to this episode of Tech Talk with Dan Harley. Um, welcome back. Like I said, this is Tech Talk with Dan Harley, episode number 136, How to Place Advertisement in Your Competitor's Location, recorded on November 29, 2018. Uh, this time of year gets pretty busy for me. Yeah, Thanksgiving essentially is the start of Christmas shopping season. Also, the start of the busiest time of the year for me for my consulting business. So, anyway, um, so I get a lot of inquiries from a lot of folks out there trying to um, a lot of small small medium sized business owners trying to um, plan for next year. Uh, you know, they they see what's going on for this last year and want to try to improve on what happened and so on and so forth. So, I get a lot of inquiries on, on, on this time of the year. Um, for those planning. So I had a friend of mine who owns a, a restaurant uh, inquired me about a problem or situation. He's actually kind of joking first. He didn't think it was possible. Uh, he's got some, some chain restaurants nearby, near his location. And um, he owns a restaurant, by the way. And they get loads of traffic, obviously, and uh, to the respective business. And he jokingly wanted to literally advertise their customers while they're in 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 their business in, in those businesses and I was, and he was kind of joking about it to, and to me I said well actually you can so um, that said we're going to talk about that in today's episode so by the way in case you're new to my YouTube channel or podcast show I'm Dan Harley I had over 20 years of internet marketing internet solution consulting experience I've helped countless businesses succeed online with what their websites internet marketing. Uh, SEO, social networking, email marketing, a lot more stuff. This YouTube channel podcast show is to help me, help you, help other business owners out there to answer some questions, solve some problems, provide some sound advice and direction, and to succeed online. Uh, you can find links to the YouTube channel podcast show, Facebook page, all that good stuff, and details about this and other episodes of Tech Talk with, with Dan Hurley at primeconcepts.net. That's P-R-I-M-E-C-O-N-C-E-P-T-S dot N-E-T. Uh, like I say, we're on YouTube, we're at podcast, and also on Facebook too. So while there, at wherever you're at, please leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, podcast show, and the Facebook page, and you know the drill about that. So um, anyway, thanks for doing all that. I greatly appreciate it. Now to the topic, how to um, place advertisement in your competitor's business location. So anyway, let's talk about that a little bit more. Uh, like I said, I got a friend of mine's restaurant uh, he asked, he's got, say, he's got several nearby chain restaurants. I won't mention who they are. Um, but it's apparent they, they get a lot of traffic. Uh, he's in a kind of high traffic area as it is, but they get a lot of traffic for obvious reasons. They get a lot more budget to do advertising marketing. So um, he wanted to target their customers. And jokingly, he was saying, can we put an advertisement in front of these people say to come eat at his place instead? And he didn't think it was possible. Then I told him about the geo marketing uh, system, um, a geo fencing, geo geo fencing, geo marketing solution. So anyway, um, so we talked about that. So what is basically a geo marketing, geo fencing marketing, and what it is is basically using location based mobile technology, basically people's smartphones. Okay, and what we're able to do with geo fencing marketing is target precise hyper hyper local geographic areas in other words an address of a building so we can literally target of their my <laughs> my competitors my, my friends competitors and uh based on that uh, uh the, the technology we're able to send either text messages or, or more, more traditionally mobile ads so um so how does it work basically is someone with a smartphone enters a geofence area which could, like I say, could be an address, could be a, a building, so on and so forth. This triggers the ad campaign to fire off the, the ad, for lack of better terms, which could be, like I say, a text message or a mobile display ad. What, this, what, what happened with the mobile display ad here is as people are searching with the phone out and, and looking for something here, these ads will pop up based on location they're at. So... Um, now the targeting and the parameters. There's something interesting about it too, and we could this this all could be dynamic. For instance, uh, we could set up so that um, the advertisement don't go off for my friend. Um, the advertisement won't activate until his restaurant is open, and then uh, we have a lunch crowd have a and and hit hit a certain geo fenced area, certain places with a lunch advertisement. 
and on through the day with a uh, dairy advertisement or maybe even happy hour advertisement. Um, all these factors can be adjusted and changed um, uh, 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 quite <laughs> to a, a significant uh, factor here. Um, in fact, let me give you some possible scenarios. With my friend's restaurant here, uh, they had obviously we go joke target the nearby competitors' restaurants, and also it has to be in a pretty good size shopping center so we can target the Walmart, the the Target, literally target the Target, and other nearby big box re retailers such as um, there's I think the Home Depot nearby, uh, and um, Lowe's, so on and so forth. So and and so we're able to uh, get my my friends. Business in front of folks who are literally pretty close by to his his, his restaurant. Uh, so, so we're able to do that. Uh, also, we have another scenario that uh, that works out pretty well is um, a mall retailer. Uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, and, and, and and for good reason here too. When you in a mall, a lot, lots of people in the mall just, just kind of moves around everywhere. They're there for an extended amount of time and you're able to get a captive audience. Now we're able to geo-target the entire mall uh, or uh, even nearby big box retailers uh, with advertisement or even nearby restaurants. Um, and reason, and I'm going to bring up restaurants and coffee shops too, because a lot of people like to sit around there and and lounge around. They may not necessarily be a, a primary client, but you'd be a secondary tertiary client. Um, we're able to while they're they're sitting there, ordering meals or finishing their or, or coffee, whatever, you're able to get get their uh, get their attention. Also, naturally, geo, uh, naturally, uh, geo target the competition too. I forgot to mention about my friends. Well, actually, we did. So you're able to. Um, do some pretty uh, interesting targeting aspects with this type of geo, this type of marketing. Um, another scenario is um, in a bad location. Let me try to explain that out. A lot of folks, um, they for economic reasons, they'll put themselves in, in a in a less trafficking location. For instance, a strip mall or a industrial area or whatever, and uh, they're not necessarily in it at a high traffic area. So, um, or let's say a mall. So to compensate for that, usually the, the rule of thumb is if you don't have a good location, then you advertise more, okay? So here you are, here's a, here's the opportunity. We're able to advertise at a high volume location, high, uh, high traffic location, such as a, a mall or a shopping center. Um, and uh, also uh, do target the competitors as well. So there's another scenario here. So anyway, uh, also there's a residual benefit of geotargeting with the system we, we that I we, we use at Prime Cosmos here. We get a lot of historical data uh, and historical performance data. So we're able to use that data and lots of it too. I cannot emphasize how important the data is. If you do any market at all, it's in th that data, more data you have, the more that's gold for you. So we get a lot of that. And we're able to optimize the, the, the geofencing uh, marketing strategy as well as plant other market strategies based on the information we're, we're receiving too. So it is a fantastic system for that. Uh, and um, I was going to go into a bunch of Q and A's here, but the more probably the more important one is is how much is it, how much does it cost? Uh, and uh, this is going to be be dependent on the business that that does a geo geo targeting. Uh, it's the category and what, what they want to target, obviously, here. Um, I will tell you, and, and so I, I can't tell you it's going to be this amount of much, this amount of money for whoever. It's going to be, 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 be depending on the situation. I will tell you, though, it's probably going to be cheaper than traditional marketing, such as newspaper ads, yellow, paper, yellow page ads. And it's going to be a lot more efficient, too, because we're able to literally target, laser target, specific locations buildings okay addresses where um and do a lot of stuff uh where frankly you cannot do this with traditional advertisement so we're able to touch people in their cell phones smartphones at specific locations we just simply can't do it in any other type of advertisement so um anyway back to my friend's story here uh, yeah, we're after talking about this. We're going to review the geofencing for his restaurant, 
uh, his location there and all the stuff. And it looks like we're going to have a pretty good, um, a, a, a pretty good, a lot of fun with doing this. So he's very excited to discover that he can literally do something he didn't think was able to do. Um, and didn't believe it was possible until now. And uh, by the way, too, I should mention too, the geofencing uh, marketing system, it's relatively new. It's been around for a few years, but relatively new. Uh, so that's probably why, if you never heard about it before, that, that's why. A lot of people heard, we talk about internet marketing, we talk about SEO or email marketing or social networking marketing. Um, this is a, a relatively new system. But it's been it's been around long enough. It's proven. It's no it's known to work. So anyway, um, that said, if you want to learn more about uh, geofence marketing or other services that we provide uh, for uh, prime content, such as SEO, search engine marketing services, social network marketing services, web development services, or just plain have a problem with your business and the internet, uh, give us a chance to, to help you. Okay, uh, call call for a free uh, e-strategy planning consultation. Phone number is 760-247-4814. That's 760-247-4814. Also, if you happen to be on Facebook, we're working on a new system here. There should be a button or something close by around here somewhere. Put, plus, click on that button and we'll, we will we will uh, talk to you pretty much immediately. So... Um, so anyway, in the meantime here, do, do a big favor. Visit primecons.net, bookmark the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the podcast show. Um, share this stuff with your friends and colleagues and leave some feedback. Greatly appreciate it. We build, we make our, um, I build my, uh, uh, my, my all my uh, um, episodes of Tech Talk based on the input I, I receive from you folks out there. So that last part is very important here. Leave some feedback. Tell us about what's going on. You got a problem, let us know, and uh, we'll help you solve it. On top of that, we have a uh, content for the next show. So, um, all right. So anyway, that said, I want to thank you folks to for watching and listening. And um, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching and listening, and good luck and Godspeed to your online success. We'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you later.